additional happy hours happy hour where today as you can see we are trying to make sure that when you send that money home it goes back secure goes back safe and we have stuff that works for you and uh to our guest today i want to say karibuni uh welcome to one mic show it's always a pleasure to uh always putting our own in front of us and uh, allowing them to showcase what they can do to us for the community so uh my question is uh, as uh, somebody who works uh, in the technical space also i just wanted to ask uh, you know one of the most fears especially when it comes to online banking uh among so many people is the cyber security aspect of it uh especially with the uh, important customer data and in this situation whereby we are asking uh most of our people who uh don't have the social security who are not uh into that immigration space that they would want to be to come and register themselves somewhere like a huge database how protected is this information for uh for for your users because uh it will, uh, i'm sure most people will fear that fear the 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 fact of putting their information or, or putting themselves out there to be in a vulnerable to be vulnerable and also uh what are some of the measures that you put in place to protect the uh, to protect the financial aspect of the financial aspect of, of your customers especially when they link their bank accounts to you all right uh back to studio so i'm not sure who the two of you wants to talk about that the data security part so yeah. let the techie do it <laughs> yeah so thank you thank you so much um for that great question um so Uh, first and foremost i think um data privacy and information security is uh, you know very important to us first as an organization as individuals and um you know of course being a fintech um as a fintech and i may have to note that um one of our early stage investors that invested in us uh, was IBM and i'm sure everybody is familiar with IBM uh, so early on when david and i started the company back in 2019 we were incubated by IBM through the IBM accelerator program it's called the IBM hyper protect accelerator program and um this was primarily for the data security and um you know privacy aspects to it um and i may have to mention that <clears throat> our service is um hosted on the most secure cloud infrastructure the IBM um you know hyper protect cloud um so from a data privacy um security uh we've taken a lot of measures for us to be able to um you know uh to make sure that the data and uh, security of our users is well taken care of and beyond that um you know being a bank and a financial institution here in the US we have had to undergo a lot of um you know information security checks and build our platform in a way that you know um complies to all the laws and regulations um that govern uh, digital banks and banks in general here in the US and one of the uh, things that we are currently doing actually uh, an exercise that is currently undergoing is um vulnerability scanning and penetration tests so this is a requirement by the you know federal government here in the US that for you to be able to allow external users to access your service and open bank accounts digitally through your platform you should be able to um you know show that your system cannot be penetrated and it does not have any vulnerabilities these are things that are conducted by third parties who are internationally renowned um partners and we're working with leading partners across the world to um make sure that we look into these things um beyond that um from a you know privacy perspective um and I'll give an example of Cash App or Venmo um we are riding on the rails of the same partners that um you know Venmo Cash App and even other third party um you know um I mean other financial platforms use so I'm sure most of you that have used apps here in the US are familiar with Plaid P L A I D which lets you log into your bank securely from a third party application um so um plaid is one of the leading technology companies that has connected about 99.9% of all the banks here in the US and we've been able to partner with companies like plaid um you know um 
companies like MasterCard um, through our banking partners are the providers of our cards. So ideally here is to say that um, we have built Wire and the Wire app, you know, um, with global standards in mind. And uh, we have gotten a lot of support from, you know, our banking partners, our technology partners, and special thanks to IBM who at some point um, has employed um, developers to work very closely with our engineers um, who I would actually proudly say that a big team of our, our technology team is based out of Kenya. Um, and we've had engineers from MIT, from Duke University, um, you know, work with our engineers to just make sure that the data privacy and information security is, um, you know,